Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're gonna see how good you are at identifying different kinds of trees and also being able to tell whether they are healthy or not healthy, okay? So first let's start with this. What kind of tree is this? Yeah, it's an apple tree, that's right. What kind of tree is this? An orange tree, very good. And what kind of tree is this? Yeah, that's right, it is a banana tree. That's right. And it is easy to tell what those trees are because you can see the fruit that they have and you know what kind of tree they are and what kind of tree their seeds will grow based on the fruit that it yields. Um, but let's see if you're good at telling apart trees that are healthy or not healthy, okay? So what kind of tree is this? Healthy or not healthy? Looks pretty healthy, right? Nice leaves. What about this tree? Yeah. Not so healthy, is it? Right. And you know that God's word tells us that we should be walking with the spirit of God and that if we have the Holy Spirit of God inside of us, that we will look like that healthy tree and we will bear fruit, except for we don't really grow fruit on the top of our heads. It doesn't sprout out of our arms. Where does the fruit come from? The fruit is not something that you can see directly all the time with your eyes, but people will observe it with all of their senses because the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against these things, there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified our sinful nature, our flesh with its passions and desires. And we are supposed to walk with the spirit of God. And if we're walking with the Spirit of God and not walking with the sinful nature, this really cool tree that looks bad because it's full of all the things that inhabit our sinful nature and was made by the kids here at Hope, is an example of what it looks like to not walk with the Spirit of God, to walk with our sinful nature. But we're called to walk with the Spirit of God. And we're gonna be building our Fruit of the Spirit tree over the next few weeks in Sunday school. And so I'll have to make sure you get to see that in a later children's time. I will see you guys next week.